Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with uh, Heritage Pride Custom Firearms and I'm back to bring you another video in the uh, electric producing windmill or wind turbine project and tonight on our video what we're going to be doing is mounting our blades onto our motor. Alright, so but first before we can uh, really get onto this thing and, and start mounting the blades, first thing I got to figure out is how to get this flywheel off this motor. Now, if you look down inside of here on the inside of the shaft, there are threads down in there. And so it is my guess that this flywheel will just spin off those threads, but I gotta figure out a way to hold it. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my side cutter or my grinder, my angle uh, side cut or side grinder, and put a cutting blade on it and just cut me a line right in there big enough that I can fit a flat tip screwdriver in. So I'll go ahead and get this cut and then I'll be right back with you. All right guys, so I got the flywheel off of the, uh, off of the motor and what I need to do now is evenly space my um, lines so that my blades will be exactly the same distance apart. All right, we need them to be equal. Now the easy way to do this is take your flywheel, lay it on a piece of paper, and draw a circle around it. That way you get your exact width or the exact dimension of your circle or of your flywheel. Then once you get the exact dimension of your flywheel, then you can uh, square it off and draw a square line through it so that you have a square line straight up and down. Now using a protractor, if you take a complete circle, which is 360 degrees, and you divide that by three, that's 120 degrees uh, three ways. All right, so 120 plus 120 plus 120 is 360 degrees. So lay your protractor on here, mark 120 degrees, and then from that line, mark another 120 degrees, and that'll give you three evenly spaced lines for your flywheel. Then cut your template out, punch a hole in the center, and you can slide your template down right over top of your flywheel. Now what I'll do before drilling my holes is I'll take a permanent marker and mark the line on the shaft and the line here, out here, and then I'll make a straight line across like that. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use two bolts to hold our fins on, but first what I wanna do is to go ahead and mark the inside ones, three quarters of an inch out from the shaft, the center spindle shaft, three quarters of an inch out, on all three of them, we'll go ahead and drill and tap those holes, and then we'll uh, put our blades on, and then uh, we'll space them out and drill the next set of holes. So let me get these drilled and tapped. We'll get our uh, blades, the first bolt put on there, and then I'll come back and show you guys how to space them out to bore the all second right guys, hole. So I got our flywheel drilled and tapped uh, using our um, layout, our little sketch that we did, our um, what's it called? Pattern. Our little pattern that we put on the top of the flywheel to evenly space our lines. I got three holes drilled and tapped and then I placed our blades on there after I drilled the holes in the blades. Now what I've done is I've got them all lined up now and I'm going to tell you the easy way to get your measurements the same on each blade. All right, Go ahead and uh, put your bolts through in your first hole on your blade and then bolt all three of them on. Just, just tighten them down so that they don't move free. I mean, they move freely if you move them, but they won't just move around. Um, and then what I want you to do is measure from tip to tip of your blades. Measure all three from tip to tip on this one, tip to tip on that one, and tip to tip on the other. And you'll probably get three different measurements. Total those measurements up then divide them by three and that'll tell you how much space you need between each blade. And that'll help you even them out because if you add it right and your blades are all the same length, then once you get your first two at the distance that it figured up to be, then you just adjust this third one here to match this, then your, your third measurement over there should be spot on. All right, so now the next step from here is, I already have our second hole drilled in the blade, but we need to drill and tap the other three holes uh, into the flywheel according to our layout here. 
So what I'm going to do is take my drill bit, run it right down through the hole in the blade, just how it sets, and just score the top of the flywheel so I'll know where to drill my holes once I take my blades back off. So let me get that done, and then I'll show you guys how to use a tapper. All right, so I've got our flywheel um, clamped up here in the vise, and I've got the scores in the flywheel from where we had the, uh, the actual wings bolted on here, the blades bolted on. And so what I want to do first before I tap, obviously, is I need to drill the hole out. Now, let's talk a little bit about taps. Um, there's taps and there's dies. This is a tap this, to tap the hole. And then a die is a more circular one that's used to thread a piece of rod to a certain uh, size. All right, so in this case for mine, I'm using a quarter inch coarse thread bolt. Um, so for that, I'm using a quarter inch coarse thread tap. Um, now taps come in different uh, designs and brands and makes and all kinds of stuff. You want to go with a good one. Spend the money on a good tap and die set or at least for this case just the one. And if you um, are buying one just for this, you can buy them in a set usually um, with a tap and a drill bit for the proper size for the tap. Uh, this is a quarter inch and so it's not going to be a quarter inch uh, drill bit. It's going to be a little bit smaller than that. So the first step is we want to go ahead and drill out our hole and it's best to use a drill press if you have one to keep your hole nice and straight but I don't have the luxury of having one of those yet so if you guys want to talk to my wife about that I'm sure she would be happy to hear that I need one. So I'm just going to use a drill and keep it as straight as possible and go ahead and drill the hole. Alright, so once you get your holes drilled, now you want to go ahead and start the tapping process. So you'll just wrench your tap up in your uh, handle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by setting it in the hole. And we're going to make sure that we get it as straight and level as we can. And then just start the process of letting it tap. Now it doesn't take much and it'll start to thread in there. But what we want to do is get about two or three good straight turns in just to make sure that we've got it going here and make sure it's nice and solid and straight. And once we get it established, this looks pretty good. Then we'll go ahead and use a little bit of either cutting oil or WD-40 or something and uh, let that soak in and then we'll start our tapping process. So you're going to give it about one full turn and then back it out a little bit. And then do another full turn and then back it out. And what that does is it allows the threads that we're making, those shavings from the threads, to drop out of the bottom of the hole. And we'll just continue this process until we get our hole bored all the way through. Now once you get all the way through, you're going to want to... Um, bring it out, run it back in, bring it out, run it back in a couple of times. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow any of the shavings that are in the threads to go ahead and fall out of the bottom there. No. Alright guys, so now we have our flywheel tapped and we're ready to mount our blades on. Uh, this isn't permanent because we still have to paint everything up, but if you're not going to paint yours, then this could be your permanent mounting. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention that you're going to want to do is once you get your initial blades uh, mounted up for, for the first time, you want to go ahead and number your blade with your set of holes. So that way when you put your blades back on, your holes line up because uh, unless you take a micrometer, you're not going to get your holes exactly the same distance. And since we're using threaded holes, we want to make sure that it's as straight as possible. So what I'll do here is I've got everything numbered up and I'm going to go ahead and mount our blades onto our flywheel in both holes. <clears throat> Alright guys.
guys, so we've got the uh, blades installed on our flywheel now, and I just threw the flywheel back on the motor there. Nope. And there goes my respirator. Anyway, so we've got the uh, blades on the flywheel, and the flywheel is on the motor. Um, just snugged it up on there just so we could spin it around. But that is the, uh, the finished mounting of the blades on the flywheel. So if we did everything properly and everything is spaced out right, that should give us a nice, uh, even, smooth cycle whenever we run our blades. So anyway, guys, that is uh, about it for this video. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching how to uh, mount your blades for your uh, wind turbine to the flywheel on the treadmill motor. Um, in the next video we will go ahead and start working on mounting our motor onto the uh, frame that we've already built and we're also going to make a housing for the motor so that it protects it from the rain and the elements. So uh, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe so that you can get an automatic update when that video is posted. And also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions that you may have about the process of this. And go ahead and check out the other videos on up to this point. We've already got our frame, all that stuff done. So uh, go back and, and watch those videos. So until next time, guys, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later. All right.